I remember in season one, we were shooting a scene and we were in the kitchen and we were making pancakes. And, and I remember just being like, because I hadn't watched Mad Men. And I was just like, yeah, you're good. I was like, I went up to, I was like, you're good. Like, you're really good. And she was like, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's I mean, amazing. I'm wondering if you could give Luke one piece of relationship advice for this season, what might it be? Oh man, I'm not into, I can't give relationship advice. I think, you know, doctors should give medical advice and, and financiers should give financial advice. Um, I can't, but keep trying, I guess. Might be my <laughs> advice. That's good. That's good for a non therapist. Just keep trying. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, you know, in today's news, um, there are a lot of comparisons to what's happening in America today with women's rights to Handmaid's Tale. If your character was was similar to any political figure today, who would you say Luke is most like? I mean, we have to find some really incompetent political figure who's not even very good at oratory skills because, you know, I, I think what's compelling to me about Luke is that he's in some ways like an everyman. Like he's not an action hero. He's not a political leader. He's not an inspirational. He's a cardigan wearing guy who likes Frappuccino, you know, like... <laughs> and what happens when you take that dude and you you strip him of his family and you make him become a refugee? Like, what happens to him? And I yeah. think that's what's compelling about Luke. Nice. So is he is he Boris Johnson? Did you just say he has no skills? <laughs> <laughs> it's what you said. I know it is. It is. I'll take credit for that one. Um, so, you know, when it comes to Luke and Nick at this point in her life, who do you think June belongs with? Good question. Okay. On one side, you have a person who belongs to a regime, which is like the Nazi party or the Taliban, yep. who's had an opportunity to leave that party. D didn't leave it. He stayed. He stayed and did such a good job. He actually moved up the ranks. He is part of the most horrific thing. And then also, you know, he's nice to look at and he's very nice to my wife. And every now and then he helps out. Not as a father. Haven't got one package of nappies yet. <laughs> Diapers. Um, <laughs> on the it. other hand, you have the store husband who's helping actually raise, actually be a father, actually raise, who's never been part of a Nazi Taliban type regime. Oh, gosh. It's um, hard, it's hard. You just convinced me. I'm Team Luke now. <laughs> No, those are some good, good points. Um, you and Elizabeth have been working together for five, six years now. What is your favorite part about working with her? Was there one scene in particular that you remember thinking, wow? You know what? The, 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 the scene that comes to mind first is not even that exciting a scene. I remember in season one, we would shoot in a scene and we were in the kitchen and we were making pancakes. And, and I remember just being like, because I hadn't watched Mad Men. And I was just like, yeah, sure. I was like, I went up to her, I was like, you're good. Like, you're really good. And she was like, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's I mean, amazing. Yeah, well, we, we have a banter. She wasn't really being like, and uh, and anyway, so it was, that was, we laughed about that. Anyway, but but as, but as yeah, I've just been blown away. And, and it's, I've learned a lot from her as an, as an actor and as a director. I've got a complete talent crush. I love her as a person. She's just the best. Oh, what a brilliant story. Okay, what is one moment that you think changes Luke? Um, well, I don't know about, I don't want to spoilerification anything, but I'll tell you something. That Serena, trouble if you haven't noticed already. Yeah. And um, there, there are some, some instances, I think, in this season where, whereas Luke had always been kind of like June and Hannah focused and maybe Commander, Serena really gets her claws in and changes the, uh, the direction of his life. Ooh, I can't wait for that. Um, all right. Thank you so much, OT. This is awesome. And I will note that I said Boris Johnson and you didn't. <laughs> But you sort of described him. <laughs> it sort of said Boris Johnson. So. Sort of.